Hi everybody, welcome back to the Feynman Technique. <clears throat> Today we're going to be finding a closed form expression for this uh, integral right here. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to define a different function, an auxiliary function. Um, and we're going to call it g of a and b, and it's equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of cosine of ax over x squared plus b squared dx. All right, next, we're just going to change up the variables in there. We're going to perform the substitution x is equal to bu, um, and that's going to allow us to get a... Um, a, uh, a u squared plus one in the denominator like this. We start with uh, uh, g of a and b, and then um, we let x equal bu, so we replace this x with a bu, we replace this x with a bu, and then we get our dx is equal to b du. And then you'll notice we can factor out a b squared right here. Um, That'll cancel uh, this b right here, making it 1 over b. We bring it outside the integral because it's independent of u. And that just leaves us with uh, 1 over b, integral 0 to infinity, of cosine a b u over u squared plus 1 du. All right. Okay, so now let's remember uh, from previous work we've done on this channel um, that we already have an answer to this integral. Um, it's equal to pi over 2 times e to the negative t. So if we let our t equal to a, b, we'll get that the integral from 0 to infinity of cosine a, b, u over u squared plus 1 du is pi over 2 times e to the negative a, b. Um, and don't forget, this expression right here is right here, just without that 1 over b. All right, next. We can, uh, we can put this, we can replace this with this in our expression for g of a and b. And don't forget, our expression for g of a and b was just this. So finally, we have a closed form expression for g of a and b, which is pi over 2b times e to the negative a b. Next. Now comes time for the Feynman integration, or differentiation under the integral sign. We're going to differentiate our g of a and b with respect to a. Don't forget, our, orig our g of a and b uh, originally was this thing right here. So we're going to differentiate with respect to a on this form right here. Okay, so that's equal to... And then I just, I perform uh, differentiation under the integral sign. I bring the differ differentiation inside the integral sign, perform the differentiation, and you get this. Um, and you'll notice that this expression right here is exactly negative f of a comma b. And that is the thing we're actually trying to find. So... All right, so we differentiated g of a and b, or this, this version of g and, of a and b with respect to a, and we found that it was equal to negative f of a and b. Now let's differentiate um, the other form of g of a and b. So we already have this. We know that if we differentiate uh, g of a and b with respect to a, we're going to get negative f of a and b. But... We found a closed form expression for g of a and b pure, uh, previously, and we found it to be pi over two, a uh, pi over two b times e to the negative a b. So if we differentiate that with respect to a, we should get, we will get negative f of a and b. So let's do that. We differentiate. Uh, g of a and b with respect to a, and we end up getting negative pi over 2 times e to the negative a b. 
So now let's set our differentiated versions equal to each other. Um, we have negative f of a and b is equal to negative pi over 2 e to the negative a b. So that simplifies to f of a and b, which is what we're trying to find, being equal to pi over 2 times e to the negative a b. And uh, that's it. We just solved that integral. Um, it is equal to pi over 2 times e to the negative a, b. And we need to place the restrictions a greater than 0 and b greater than 0 also. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time.